Hi, this is Eric Solomon bringing you the Mammoth Park Win Early Pick 5 Preview for Friday, September 17th. The second to last week of racing at the meet starts with an 8 race card on Friday, post time 12.15. And the Win Early sequence starts with Race 1, which is a New Jersey bred maiden special weight for 2 year old fillies. To me, I think this is a, a two horse race. Uh, Get Groovy is the one I want on top. This horse was a respectable third at this level last time out making her first start. Rory Houston has good numbers with second time starters. She was a little bit behind the big favorite Miss Yum Yum in that race, but certainly expect this one to improve second time out. Miss Yum Yum, I'm going to use that one here. Uh, three straight uh, second places and three career starts. Never really looked like a winner in any of those starts, so that's a little bit of a concern. Figures are up and down, um, but this is a pretty soft group, so th those are the two that I think are going to get you out of the first race. Race two, this is a race where I want some definite coverage. I'm on the three street prayer. This is the most consistent horse in the field. Um, and, and this is kind of a tricky race because four out of the seven horses in this claiming race uh, are coming off career top races. Street prayer is not one of them, but definitely consistently runs decent races, gradually improving, trying to get back to the form that we saw this one uh, at the start of last year on, on debut. Kind of starting to get back to that here. The two far away look, another one I'm going to use. Uh, Wayne Potts has two here. Uh, I'm going to use both of them. This one was claimed by Wayne Potts last time out after winning at Saratoga with New York bred $25,000 maiden claimers. Adds Lasix and certainly could be the best closer in this field. Potts also has the one U.S. steel. This is the one that Paco Lopez winds up on. Monster effort last time out at Saratoga at this uh, 25 non-winners at two level. If this horse duplicates the, that effort, this race is over. Um, and this horse you're going to see in the winner's circle at a short price. However, certainly room for bounce off that big figure there. Uh, the other horse, Will Too Shy. Another one with a big figure last time out in the slop. C certainly could do that while, while moving up in class but this is a big jump up because those are only 10,000 maiden claimers that he beat last time out however that effort was was pretty visually impressive came back nice on the figure so, so I will include that one on the ticket as well race three Gabby squared makes the most sense in this maiden claiming race Chad Brown Philly making her first start since June she was a solid third at this level at Belmont so still getting some class relief on the circuit switch here also going to use the five varsity kick line. This, this horse six to one here. I don't know exactly what to make of this horse. This horse was terrible in, in the debut for Todd Pletcher back on August 27th. Claimed for 16,000 out of that race. Allison Escobar runs this horse six days later. And, and all of a sudden this horse makes a pretty big step forward in start number two. Closed really well to be second with uh, $30,000 maiden claimers last time. Out went off at 66 to one that day. Two weeks Later now, moves up again to Maiden 40 down to 30 here. Closed well enough to use this one here. Uh, again, just kind of shoulder shrug. But, you know, if the favorite comes back a little soft, this one could certainly move forward. And then Vicious Velma, another one that, that this is a horse that has faded in, in a lot of her last three starts on turf. But there is really no early speed in this race. So in, unless the, unless one of the firsters kind of decides to gun it from the gate, she should have a pretty easy lead on that front end. So I, I think that's enough reason to put that one on the ticket. Race four, Chase Runner is where I'm landing here. This one's the most consistent in this $5,000 multi-condition claimers. Uh, six for 25 has a lifetime best winning percentage in the field. Moving up in class after beating a field, uh, it's definitely a softer $5,000 claim. So you do have to realize that this horse, it, on paper, it looks like it's staying at the same level, but it is definitely moving up in class. But uh, again, I, I think the consistency makes a big difference in this in a field like this. Grim Grinning Ghost is the other one I want to use. This one, monster effort last time out. Had, had a bad stumble at the start really just missed it at the end skipped a race at this uh condition three weeks ago six weeks off given a chance to rest up after that big effort certainly fits here and then we get down to race five gonna go too deep here again in this turf sprint to uh 16 out of 14 main uh or oh, claiming race third time around makes a lot of sense to me two bad starts this year but but you look at those two starts that are at this meet 
once it was with not a, a other than allowance company on the turf here you can kind of forgive that tried the dirt last time out with lesser just didn't run a step that that day back on the turf here slight raise in class but but back on turf doing what this one wants to do i like the outside post for this one sink a more the other one that certainly makes also a lot of sense dropping in class if you're showing some speed in, in the recent recent turf sprints should have less early speed to contend with here so that's how i'm going to go with a 48 dollar ticket here uh enjoy the friday afternoon and we'll be back tomorrow with another one to kick off the weekend